What do you value most in friendship? Loyalty. What do you value most in your friends? What do I value in a friend? Um, <laughs> I think the yeah, I think the ability to like not take themselves too seriously. What's your greatest fault? I push people too hard. What's your greatest fault? <laughs> I have an uh, infected nose piercing. How have you seen choked you up the most? I tried to burp and I couldn't. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, oh, uh, the perks of being a wallflower. When I was in high school, I felt like that movie was about me. Mm-hmm. Um, in so many ways, it's not. But in so many ways, uh, it was. And. I used to ugly cry at that movie every time. <laughs> every time I, I just like snotty, uh, gross, like drippy in the middle of the night kind of still crying about it. And not because it was like painful, but just because it was emotional. And I think at the time when you're a teenager, you have so many like emotions and you just like don't know how to deal with them. And so I felt like, oh, somebody hears me, somebody sees me in this movie, it's about it. And I, I like, I really wanted to be like Emma Watson standing at the, like out of the car window. And uh, it feel alive. In that moment we were alive or like whatever they say. And, uh, I, I felt like I, I was there. In some moments I was alive, but the other moments are kind of inherently the opposite. What's your favorite book? Uh, favorite book right now is Courage is Calling by Ryan Holiday. What's it about? Uh, it's a, like, philosophy book. Uh, pretty much just, like, goes into Stoic philosophy. Um, and, uh, that's all I'm gonna say. What do you spend the most time thinking about? What do I spend the most time thinking about? Mm. Uh, actually, I always think about haircuts. <laughs> I had a feeling that was going to be answer. What's your favorite book that you've read? Favorite book? <laughs> Holes. Yo, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Find a remote that can rewind, fast forward, stop, and start time. What do you do with it? Like, I would probably do all those things. That's what it's for, right? Uh, I don't know. I might. I think we we all have regrets. I, I'm just reading a book that's challenging the notion of no regrets, um, and I think uh, I, I do understand what the author's trying to say, and that you know we all have regrets, and if we choose not to think of them, it can lead to more regrets and more mistakes. Not that we can go through life without any, I'm just thinking that we can learn from them. So I don't know, going back, I don't know if I would go back, you know, because then I like, um, you got to see like my entire thought process in this, but going back, like maybe I wouldn't have learned all of the things that I needed to learn. I truly think that I'm right where I need to be. There are many days where I'm not happy about it but I do think that I'm right where I need to be. And I feel um, like something above lucky that I get to experience it. Like whatever it feels like, um, some, something immense that I, I get to experience the things, I get to experience what I'm experiencing when at this moment I feel. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know what I would do. I might. 
I don't know, I might just put it in a drawer along with my taxes. <laughs> Never do them. <laughs>